evangelicals bring uh, uh, Jesus and energy <laughs> and I admire both and uh, so uh, insofar as uh, evangelicals um, still have a high regard for scripture and in particular the Christological center of scripture then we are on the same side and um, and then they bring to that um, a desire to um, uh, tell other people of the joy that that has given their lives is a great good that I'm all for and then I try to help them recover a sense of the church that oftentimes they don't have because they think that the church is a secondary reality to their immediate relationship with God which is why so oftentimes they um, have no way to resist Protestant liberal alternatives. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I, I'm very pleased that evangelicals can recognize some continuities between what I represent and what uh, they represent, but it's going to change them. I don't want them to um, um, continue to presume that um, they have a relationship with God that is unmediated. That's, that's a crucial issue that I see that, that's at the heart of it. And that one of the problems with evangelicals particularly as it's taken the form of church growth is the presumption that you get to make God up. You get to make God up. You get to make Christianity up. So, so it's like you don't receive it uh, through um, uh, the gifts of 2,000 years that have made you possible. So too often times that evangelicals have the New Testament and now and there's just nothing in between. And that, um, that tradition matters. I'm a, I'm a Catholic in this regard. Of course the tradition is always subject to error. Um, uh, but that the way you know errors is through the tradition.